Okay, Jim. Wait till I get my ears working. Uh, I'd like to take him with me. <laughs> How'd the gas feed work this time? Fine, kid, I wouldn't touch it. Okay, I'll put some fresh oil in and clean it up a bit. That's right. Then fill her up and I'll hop off early in the morning if the weather's good. Great. Well, here we are at the airport, friends of the Radio Land. All set for the takeoff of Lieutenant Long Flight. Well, Lieutenant Robin, pardon me, Long Flight to Hawaii. There he comes through the crowd now. There's a large crowd at the edge of the field, and the police are trying to hold him back. <laughs> Land of music and romance, sitting on a beach at Waikiki, listening to the music, eating pineapple with an Hawaiian lei around your neck. How I wish I were going. Excuse me, friends, have you seriously considered your skin? Now, Dr. Skinham's coconut skin balm is kind to your skin. A man's skin is his best friend. What would you do without your skin? What would a sausage do without his skin? And speaking of sausages, here's one baloney they'll never get up in the air. I can't think of anything more silly than being high in the sky in an airplane. Of course, it might be worse if you were up there in a bicycle. But nevertheless, friends, remember your skin is your best friend. Lieutenant, give us a picture of you and the dog, will you? Certainly. Flash, come here. Come here. Do you hear me? I'd like to take him with me. Jim, he knows he isn't going with you. He's hurt all right. Carl, go lock him up. I can't say goodbye to him. I'll have to give you a picture without him, boys. Fine. Then. Well, they're about ready for the takeoff, folks. Ah, the plane is full of gas. The cameras are full of film. The aviator is full of confidence. And the sky is full of air. Now you're full of prunes. And I'm full of prunes. I'm not full of prunes. Excuse me, folks. Getting back to your skin. Oh, wait a minute. You want it today. Give her a spell, will you, Bill? Hey, fine. We want to get it in the face, please. Oh, monsieur, will you also go for me? Certainly. Have you a pencil? Oh, monsieur. Where's your book? Book? Oh, how terrible. I have to get the book. I'm sorry. Wait a moment. I have it. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll say she has it. If you'll promise not to sue me. No, no, no. You should have seen what I just saw. Lieutenant Robbins was autographing a beautiful blonde <clears throat> memoirs when someone started the motor and a gust of wind blew her dress up, exposing her. Uh... Friends, have you seriously considered your skin? Now, Dr. Skinham, skin bomb is hind to your skin. <laughs> monsieur, where did you find your name? On the other one. Oh, thank you, thank you, monsieur. Give la vie à terre. Vive la France, baby. Bon voyage, monsieur. Thank thank you. Thank you. Now he's ready to leave, folks. The reporters are being driven off the field. Police are getting the crowds back. Cameras are being cleared. Advanced. 
starting the motor. There he's acting around. There he goes, down the field.
cool, Flash. How did you get here? Why, well, uh, I was making a flight and it cracked up. If you let me help you, I'll take you to the house. Oh, I'm all right. Just stunned. What, what place is this? Why, this is Taboo Island, just south of Hawaii. Why, I, I was flying to Hawaii when I cracked up. I've been in the air for the past 30 hours. You might have been killed. <laughs> Only the good die young. <laughs> is there any place I could send a cable or a radiogram? No means of communication on this island. Just a boat once a month. Maybe there's a hotel. Just a trading post. Only Von Kranz is not a very nice host. Oh, I'll manage. Maybe Daddy will have an idea. He's a missionary here. If you feel better, we'll walk to the house. Oh, I'm fit. I've got no luggage. Why, I'm standing in my trunk now. <laughs> Why, look at this shirt. Come along. I'll fix it. Say, that's great. <laughs> Come on, Flash. Where is boss? I got big pearl. He's in the back room. Uh, let me see. No, no, no. I go see this boss. I go see this boss. One cell pearl. Big one. Huh. Big one, eh? <laughs> That's what they all say. This one, big one, all right. More big as any other you got. Thank you. 
down, eh? <laughs> That's a nice boy, Daddy. <laughs> Where you been for the last two, three weeks, no? See you at all, eh? Me going to get married. Oh, married, eh? Me marry Chief's daughter, Rary. Oh, that's so. Huh. I guess it was she who told you to stay out of my place, eh? No, she just not like me get drunk anymore. Yeah. I save money now. We build a big house. Oh, I see. Well, got uh, ten grains. Nah. That means five pounds for you, Taki. <laughs> There you are. Well, what's the matter? Big Pearl. Me want more money. Huh. Oh, you want me to build a big house for you, eh? <laughs> well, uh, you're a nice boy, I... All right, all right. Uh, here, I give you one more pound, not another penny. Well? What you say? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Lost the money you built. Great big house, eh? <laughs> and now I suppose that you go out and you have one great big fine time, eh? No. <laughs> Me save money. Ah, <laughs> not the boy. You see, you were here, Taku. <laughs> <laughs> you can build a big out, eh? <laughs> oh, Molly, Taku is going to get married. Well, isn't that fine? Yeah. Who's the girl, Taku? Yeah. Oh, Larry, the chief's daughter. Taku is going to settle down and work hard and not drink and save his money and, and build a big house, eh? <laughs> Otto, don't you think we ought to drink to Taku's good luck? Eh? Oh, why, of course. Taku and I are old friends. Uh, uh, that bottle of Hennessy, eh? Me no drink. Me save money. Uh, eh? Oh, just this little one, Taku. To yeah. celebrate your wedding. This is just for friendship. Sure. And you... I'm buying the drink. See? You hear what Molly say? <laughs> Here you are. Uh, Molly wants you to take this drink. With it. See, you're going to get married. And always drink to good health. Well, just a one little drink. That's not really a drink. You know, to your good health. Be married and be happy in a big house, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't put you up here. But we only have the two rooms. Sally occupies that one and I sleep here. Oh, no, Mr. James. I wouldn't think of it. Here's your shirt. Say, just as good as new. <laughs> You're some seamstress here. Oh. <laughs> she can do anything, Mr. Robbins. Cook, bake, sew. Oh, Daddy. Everyone <laughs> would think you were a native chief trying to sell your daughter. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it that way. You must understand it is the enthusiasm of a proud father. Oh, I know, dear heart. And I think you're the most wonderful daddy in the whole world. <laughs> Don't you think he's adorable, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, well, you'll have me blushing in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, I guess it's Flash. Oh, do let him come in. Daddy, did you ever see a more beautiful doll? Certainly is a beauty, all right. How are you, old fellow? Oh, <laughs> darling. I wish you were mine. I never <laughs> saw a smart animal. Well, let's go down to the store. All right. See you later, Daddy. All right. Bye. Bye, and thanks for the shirt. It's all right.
That's one I got, eh? Hey, bye bye, Bill Big House. Some of the time, eh? Sure, come on, give me the one.
you want to sit down and listen to them? Don't me well. I'm going to really miss all this, Sally. You know, around an airport, the only music you hear is a lot of motors. How many days have you been here, Jim? Three? Why? Oh, I was just thinking. It seems like you've been here forever. I mean, that you belong here. I was thinking the same thing, Sally. Another thing I had in my mind, too. You ought to get your father to take a vacation. The two of you could come to Los Angeles and have a rest. Gee, I'd show you a whale of a time. I don't think you'll get Daddy to leave now, particularly with all the trouble he's been having. Why, only today he told me that three out of 50 people attended school. There's something serious behind all this. It's Von Krantz. He's been drunk ever since I've been here. And kept most of the men drunk, too. That is, those who could pay for it. It seems too bad. They're really wonderful people at heart. Loving and trusting as children. what she said? No, but I understood Oma knew to say something about the evil traitor. Come on, let's go see what's happened. All right. What's the matter? The 
natives are all up in arms about something. They'll be here any minute. Well, I heard somebody yell a little while ago. And then I saw one of the native girls run out of the place. That was Rary. Sally, go get your father. Where's Von Cran? He's in there. Otto. Otto. Come on, Come on, now. What did you do to Rary? Yes, what did you do with her? Come on, tell us. Dutch, 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 native girl. Nothing. Why? She was looking for Taku, that's all. And the natives are looking for you. They'll be here any minute. shot the old man. Is he dead? I think so. No touch. He taboo. By and by he come to life. Taboo doctor or high priest. What will they do, Daddy? I'm not so sure. At any rate, it would be well if we remain here in one place for a while. Do you think they'll attack us? Did you hear the man say that the priest would come back to life? I heard it. They gave me the ship. That's just what they'll do. They'll hold a ritual to try to bring him back to life. If he should happen to rise again, our lives won't be worth much. You don't mean to tell me that you believe that, Mr. James. I don't know. Even if there's trickery in it, the natives believe in the medicine and they're hard to control. Oh, it's awful. Just think of raising a dead man. I'm trying to think of what we could do. What's that? Taboo chant. I'm afraid we're in for it. The next thing will be the drum to summon the other natives on the island. Well, isn't there something we can do? Yes, we can bar the windows and doors and stay inside. Well, come on, let's do it. Now. 
ready to go. Besides, I don't think we could even get out of the door. You mean they're watching this place? I'm sure of it. Be careful, Lieutenant. that no one is to try to leave this place. The place is taboo, awaiting the outcome of the ritual. In other words, we're in death row. this or not, but we're all in a very serious position. Now, there'll be no more drinking on your part.
out and speak with him. No, Daddy. I wouldn't do that, sir. I've been that friend. Perhaps they listen to me. It might work. I'll go with you. No, that wouldn't do. I might further anger them. Then you!
You'll have to hide for about an hour until daybreak. That plane will land then. Oh, but Jim, my father. I'll get it, Sally. Understand, but Sally, we're starting a new day. You and I and Flash. Where is Flash? There he is. Come on, boy. We have to run for it. I'm ready. Good. 